Good morning, guys. Today is Monday. Yesterday at Rachel's house, we stayed until 3 a.m. I am so tired, but the reason why I stayed until 3 a.m. and I also had a 7 a.m. workout class is because Clarice is actually headed to Asia literally next week and she's going to be gone for three months. And the three of us together, we just have such great vibes. Like, you know, the type of friends where, like, when you talk, like, it's just endless. Like, there's some people where you have to think about what to say next but these girls are the opposite they're like you're almost like struggling to just even finish one topic like we literally are we're like we need a whiteboard to just jot down our topics because we'll move on to the next topic and we're like wait do we even finish the first topic anyway they're just such great vibes like i said we're all aries and i just love them to death so much anyway so i stayed up till pretty much 3 a.m worked out this morning and now we are at Bridalwood Mall. This is in Scarborough. So if you guys are from the GTA slash Toronto, you'll know where Scarborough is. Um, you guys need to check out the nail salon that I go to because they're so amazing. They are obviously far if you live downtown, but if you don't live downtown, then maybe this is like even better for you. I'm going to leave a link where you guys can save 15% off your nails, um, your entire purchase, which is so much money because if you think about it, nails nowadays are so expensive. So it's 15% off. You must register your appointment through the link but anyway i'm just excited to get my nails done because this one cracked um because this month i have really long nails as you guys can see um so i'm excited to go and get my nails in guys i'm finally at the nail place and i just have to link these gloves for you because either i put on spf or i'll wear these gloves i don't know it just depends on my mood but today i guess we're going with the gloves got it from amazon so i'll link it for you but um if you guys didn't know the uv is so bad for your hands um and it's gonna make you be like all wrinkly so if you're not gonna wear the gloves then put on sunscreen but this is if you don't like that sticky feeling I'm in Scarborough right now. I'm also gonna go to this Asian market because we all know, and if you don't, I'm telling you right now, Asian markets are so much cheaper than your traditional like metro law laws, whatever it is. Um, and also it's perfect because I always rotate between um, eating like, I don't know, like Western food for like two weeks. And then, then I'll do like more ethnic food for the next like two weeks or whatever. So we did the Costco run. We did the super like, I literally had steak and like salmon filet for the last two weeks. And now we're going to go for some good old Asian ethnic food. Another thing I like to do whenever I'm uptown is getting my car washed. So I'm currently getting it washed at the shell in near bridalwood mall this is my favorite car wash because it's touchless and it doesn't have that annoying thing where you have to put one wheel on the ramp so you can literally just drive in like this as you guys can see it's just so easy so seamless and yeah it's just one of the things i like to do also because like where i am parked in my house there's a pipe and it's really annoying because a lot of the birds when it's warm will sit there and poo on my car so i have to get my car washed like pretty frequently otherwise it looks absolutely disgusting also something that i learned from dating before uh sorry dating a guy who's into cars before apparently you're not actually supposed to wash your car when the temperature is below zero degrees celsius because uh it could cause the water molecules to freeze and expand if the water molecule is stuck in a crevice where it expands it could like burst things so you're never supposed to wash your car when it's below um freezing temperature or when the water could freeze or whatever so since it's currently still good weather it's getting colder now in toronto but it's just a good time to wash my car before i probably can't wash it anymore oh wow fancy thank you so much no this is so cool. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm good. Are you excited to receive your compliments? Yes. 
Perfect. I'm vlogging this experience. Look guys, it's like the cutest little booth. rushed out of that event so quick sarah even brought two burgers with her actually one of them was mine and then i got full so she's having both of them but we are on our way rushing our butts off to yorkdale because as you guys can see it was actually like 50 minutes we already drove for a little bit um and we're rushing over to yorkdale now okay guys we are talking about us in the creators so sarah was saying wait you tell them I was just saying that like because we just met like or at least I just met a creator right before we left the La roche -Posay event and I was saying like oh she's a really big um, creator on YouTube blah, blah 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 like just telling the details and then Lisa goes oh how did you meet her through like past like like my past job and I was like no actually all brown creators just know each other and it's it's just like a thing where like you know you just know your own kind yeah you just all know each other but then you're not i'm not technically in that group you know there's in, in the creative industry it's all segregated you have all like the colored together all the asians together mm -hmm. all the and yeah. then i was saying i fall in the miscellaneous group because me and lisa are always together and then we have our little multicultural little group that we're always in that our little diverse group so it's yeah. just like because i i also said and the reason why we i wanted to turn on the camera is because i was like this is such a juicy topic and like a good um topic if you guys are also thinking about getting into this industry because yeah like even i think the equivalent of this like the asian version the asian creators are also they all know each other but then like for example if you're a korean creator all the koreans know each other even more and like they're even like even really really i don't know it's like close together it's just it's a very segregated industry i'm not gonna lie yeah because like even within you were saying like the brown creators like certain culturally similar within the brown community are also tighter yeah like i mean i mean there's obviously different types of like asians and then there's like south Asian, different types of south asians right yeah and I'm Bengali and there's not that many Bengali uh, creators in this industry. I want to say there's like, I mean there are, but like not, I only just know like four, to be honest. Really? So, Who? just saying like, I'm Bengali and I only just know like, yeah, four other Bengali creators in this industry in Toronto right now, but I'm not in that, we're not all in one little group. Like, I feel like I'm in the miscellaneous section because, like, it's always me and Lisa, so we're, like, we're in our little diverse section, yeah. so... Me and Jonathan went to a Lancome event a couple months back. Mm -hmm. I think you were... I think you were on vacation somewhere. Um, and the first thing that Jonathan said after I asked him, I was like, oh, how did you like that event? He's like, oh, it's so segregated. That's all he said. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, what do you mean? He's like, he's like, all the Asians were together. All the, like, Koreans were together. All, like, the other Asian, like, all the, like... I guess other Chinese, Mandarin, whatever, is, are together, yeah. right? All the Tamils are together. All the, like, Indians are together, right? All, like, the Blacks are together. You know what I mean? All the Whites oh, are together. Oh, yes, all the... Okay, there's also a huge Black creator community because every time we go to, like, a pretty little uh, thing event, all of them, like, they all know each other and they're always they're always taking content together and I'm like, hello, I want to be in it. Um, but, yeah. No, I... You like know them individually, but like you wouldn't know them enough to like be in their core group. I yeah. genuinely and feel like our group is like the most diverse and actually oh, like yeah, yeah. super we're, close. We're very diverse, very diverse. Like I mean, like there's me, Brown, who, and there's Lisa, Asian. There's Chloe, who's a mutt because she's like mixed of everything. She's Russian and Jewish. She's Russian Jewish. Okay, I thought she was. I thought she was a lot more. Sorry, sorry, Chloe. Um, and then there's Romy, who's. Um, Middle Eastern, but is she like specifically Iranian? She's Iranian, right? Yeah, yeah. she's Iranian. And, and then uh, Tanya's Greek. Greek. And it's just. And then Danya is Paki. Paki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like there's like we have a little mix of like diverse. Yeah, I just like like her group because we're actually like what you guys don't see on camera either is that like we actually hang out all the time. I call Sarah every single day on FaceTime. I call Chloe every single day on FaceTime. Like these girls aren't just like. I don't know, like my coworkers or whatever you would call people in yeah, this yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like they're my real, genuine, true friends, and I'm so 
grateful to have that from yeah and this I'm, job I, i'm not I'm, we're not saying that like it's a bad thing that's like it's just something that we've noticed you know what I mean? yeah, yeah yeah it's not bad at all it's, it's just not bad yeah, at all sure. it's just like something that like you don't really you don't really like it's not the first thing you know when you're in this industry like you kind of like learn as you go and you're like oh wait that's really interesting that's how it, i guess that's how it works but i mean like at the end of the day like you have yeah. your people and then I, you stick with your people which is fine and then my people is you know lisa chloe tanya all them yeah, yeah. i think like just like how so the equivalent of Sarah feeling like you're not part of a specific brown, brown group is because you don't think that there's a lot of like Bengali creators, right? Not even that. I mean, I also like, I think like me, like culturally speaking, I'm obviously, I don't show my culture too much. I don't show my culture at all on social media, right? Like I'm not wearing like my Indian, my, my clothing, my cultural clothes, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like I'm not showing that part. But there are like a big, there is a big group of like brown creators that do show their cultural side, which I have, yes. which yeah. I respect so much. But I'm just not that person, so obviously I don't fall in that category. Yeah. I mean? So it's like I will always be that miscellaneous yeah. little group where it's like I'm off to the side. Yeah. You know, like no, same with I me. I know all of them. Yeah. But like I'm not showing my cultural side. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same with you. I feel like you don't show your cultural side. You know? Well, only because it's like like. It's like the same. Well, for me, the reason is because I feel like there aren't a lot of Taiwanese creators. So it's not saying that I don't bond with other Asians. I totally do. But I only know like very few um, like Taiwanese creators. So it's hard for like the Taiwanese creators to form like a solid group because there's like nobody. Um, I think the only person that I know is like Sandy from um, like Sandy. She's Sheldon's girlfriend and I've like grown really close to her. She's oh, Sandy Cheeks. Yes. Yes. Um, so Sandy and then like right now I can't think of another creator that's in Toronto that I'm close with that is also Taiwanese. Or I they haven't I don't know, made themselves known as Taiwanese. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just Hello. a very interesting topic. Yes. We arrived at Yorkdale and I feel like I'm the luckiest person ever because Do you know how hard it is to find a spot at one of these few EV chargers? And I got one! All right, we are here. Okay, I literally didn't even get a chance to record this, but me and Chloe already are getting two matching hats. They're in red, and we're both getting this sweater. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So today, I started off the day honestly just working and filming. So today, I just finished the Monica Vinader Black Friday video. If you guys are watching this, I don't know which one's gonna come first. No, the Monica Vinader already came out. So it's already out. You guys should go watch it if you guys want any ideas from the store. I don't know if the sale's still gonna be on the time the vlog is uploaded. It's currently at 30%, but even if the sale is over and you missed it, my personal link will still give you 20. But in the meantime, I am currently, I just finished filming. As you guys can see, like this is literally the behind the scenes. Like from up here, I look so nice, but in reality, like my pants are just joggers today there are three events all back to back so i need to be really efficient with my time so the first event i'm actually going to a porter airlines party it's located at evergreen brickworks and then the second event is the launch of the prada perfume so prada paradox actually i think it's already been launched I think it's just another party for it, honestly. And then the third event is the opening of the well in Toronto. So they're doing an entire tour and an after party um, to kind of showcase what is included in the well. Unfortunately, I'm going to be missing the entire tour for the well because like I said, it overlaps with Porter Airlines. So I won't be able to see, but if you guys are living in Toronto, the well is a, I don't even know what you would call it. like. I don't want to say complex, but it's like the downtown version of like, I don't know, like a 
just where all the stores are, I guess, because the well is going to have so many things, including the new soy and tonic. That's the gym that I go to. Just a bunch of different stores. I'm actually just excited to show you guys because I don't even know what's really in the well. Um, so I cannot wait to bring you guys along. For Porter Airlines, I'm actually going with my neighbors. It's going to be so fun. So I don't know if you guys follow them, but Hugo and Sergio also live in my building and they're also creators. And we're bringing our other neighbor, Terry, aka Gramps. I think you guys have already seen him in the vlog before. So we're all gonna go together. Okay, hi guys. We are currently on our way to the Porter Airlines event. Um, we left later than expected because of me. Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out my outfit. You know when an outfit looks really good in your head, but it just doesn't look good in person? That's basically what happened. But anyway, here is Terry, aka Gramps. Here's Serge and Hugo. Wait, what kind of, oh, there we go. Follow them on Instagram. See you guys at the event. We were at the wrong entrance, so now we're finally at the right entrance. Yay, we're here, I hope. I don't want to walk any longer. everyone welcome to another day of the vlog i feel like yesterday i was so exhausted from all the events i actually missed one event i was supposed to go check out the well but by the time i was gonna go a lot of the influencers that have already been there told me that it was already over so i was like okay i guess i'm not going because the prada event went on for a really long time but anyway this morning i'm kicking off the day by checking out one of the sunglasses hut locations in the eating center and by the way there are two i know that but i'm at the one on the main floor and this is um basically across from like honey rw and co if you guys have been to the Eaton Center, I think you'll know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, this is the Sunglasses Hut. It's so nice. They actually just renovated. So I'm gonna go check out the store. Oh my God, it's so nice. Look at all the sunnies. Oh my God, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Yay, we're checking out the store today. Oh look, and they even ranked some of the most loved styles. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, we'll be trying on some sunnies today and I'll try them on the camera. Okay guys, I finally narrowed down the sunglasses I want to try, so let me try them on for you. get the Tiffany heart and then it like you can see the green like this. Look. Okay 
Okay guys, I think this is my finalist because I don't have anything like this at all. It's by Burberry. So I think I might actually get these ones. The runner up is actually these glasses here. But I don't know, maybe I'll come back for these. Hi guys, we are currently on our way to Woodbine Racetrack to see some horses racing, which is why, I don't know, I have this thingy on. Anyway, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are our menu options. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We also get to pick our own hat. So I didn't even need to bring my own. Very excited. Thank you. Oh, two shots. One and a half. <laughs> oh, one and a half. It's gonna be a fun night. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, you chose an elderflower. I can ice it. Uh, mix it up for awesome! Oh my god, I'm so excited. We're about to go for the races, or not the races, oh my god, not me thinking I was going on a race. <laughs> we're gonna meet the horses. Find out which ones are. Yay, we're gonna go. Whoa! Wait, this is so cool. Walking into a barn. Nice. What if we all bet Big booty Latina. our... <laughs> no way. Is that what you were hoping for? No. no just, we're, it's awesome. Should we try betting with God. names that no. resonate the most no. with us? Number Can eight has it? good odds. It's six to one, friends for life. I feel like we all need to pull yeah, in on that. Yeah, is it because the name resonates with Queen Do we Gypsy. all just bet on Queen the Gypsy. same horse? And no. Placing our bets. Are we betting the full amount? Wait, what's going on here? Hello guys, welcome to another day. We are kicking off today by going to Toro Toro. It is on Young Street. Actually, they have a few locations, but it's a sushi place. I'm going with grandpa over here. <laughs> um, he's driving us and yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys the menu. I've actually already had their sushi before, but in the Saga location, I actually had it for my birthday. Um, Cause, Liz and Marga got it for me for my birthday. Anyway, it's really delicious. I'm excited to try out this location and this is my first time trying it in store. I also went to Pilates today and later I'm gonna finally shop at Aritzia because it is their clientele. I haven't bought anything for Black Friday at all, I know. So this is gonna be my one and only store I think that I am actually like shopping at. Okay guys, this is the Toro Toro location. I am so excited. Okay, this is... Wow. That's really good. Probably. That's going on the vlog. Hey guys, that was so good. First of all, if you can get the sushi box, I would highly recommend getting the sushi box because you get a really good taste of pretty much like everything on the menu. But Alexi, who was the manager at this location, he asked me which ones were my favorite. So I was like, wait, this is such a great thing to share on the vlog. So I loved their rice 
roll like shrimp roll i don't know what it's called but like you guys should definitely try it because it's so unique and it tastes so good i just haven't really gotten it from other sushi locations which is why i am recommending that one the other one is their um scallop unagi which doesn't come in the box but i highly recommend ordering that separately because that was delicious and then the last thing is oh yeah of course the one with the um gold flakes i loved that one um obviously because it has gold but also it tastes good so these are the ones that I recommend. Okay, next up, I'm freaking freezing. I don't know why I'm only wearing a blazer, but I'm going to Aritzia now to shop their clientele. I just need to find some basics and then I'm good. This is Aritzia. Oh, I'm gonna go this way because I don't wanna, there we go. So I got back from Aritzia and I ended up spending $500, but basically it was free because I paid with my gift card, which I only thought there was probably like $100 on there max, but for some reason there was $1,000 on there. I honestly think someone probably made a mistake because I just genuinely don't remember returning $1,000 worth of stuff. But if I did, I'm just kind of shocked because I feel like that's an amount that you would remember in your mind to be like, you have a $1,000 gift card, like do not lose this, you know? And I never once thought that about my gift card. I genuinely was just kind of like throwing it around, just whatever. Like I would have treated it with a lot more protection if I had known that there was so much money in it. But anyway, I'm super excited to show you guys my haul once it's in because a lot of the items that I wanted from Aritzia wasn't actually available anymore in the store like i i had to order all of them in but it's really funny because i haven't shopped at aritzia in so long and it's wild because i feel like aritzia was kind of the backbone of this channel if you guys have been following me since the og times you will know that aritzia was literally what made this channel i did a lot of aritzia hauls especially aritzia warehouse sale hauls because i was from vancouver but it's just crazy because I feel like I haven't really posted that much about Aritzia because I actually don't shop there that much anymore. A lot of the clothes that I get, I get from a lot of different brands. I find that a lot of their styles recently haven't been super new. So a lot of the styles I already have. So now I only really go to them when I need basics. So I really go for my bralettes, my some bodysuits, not even all of them anymore, some. And yeah, but I don't know. What do you guys feel about Aritzia now? Because I feel like... It's been a while since I've done like a really big haul that's kind of stylish. I just kind of go for the basics now. But anyway, that was pretty much my day. I'm really excited to show you guys my next week. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one.